Officer Swayze's funeral was held a week after the Black Friday shooting. He was one of three people killed, and KRDI News Channel 13's Rana Novini attended the memorial service. She joins us now live, and Rana, everyone describing Officer Swayze as a protector. Yeah, that's right, James and Heather, and that's true in every aspect of his life. From a father and a husband to even an ice dancer and a police officer, he's described as someone who would catch you when you fall and who would put his life on the line to save the lives of others, and that's exactly what he did. Now, there were thousands of people here at New Life Church to pay their respects, uh, attend the service to honor his memory. Most of them were from his law enforcement family. There are agencies here, not just from Southern Colorado and Colorado, but from around the country. We heard emotional speeches from the governor, the mayor of Colorado Springs, and also those who knew him best, including those who worked with him and members of his family. The UCCS police chief offered support for Officer Swayze's wife and two children. You're not alone. You will always have a wonderful and devoted family of blue who will remember Garrett's ultimate sacrifice. The love of my life gave his life without regret to be sure others would live. Officer Swayze was also honored with a 21-gun salute. The procession left here from New Life Church. It took some time for all the law enforcement officers to uh, leave New Life just because of the sheer amount of support that is here to honor Officer Swayze. They are now uh, making their way down I-25 to Evergreen Cemetery for a private burial. Reporting live in Colorado Springs, Rana Novini, KRDO News Channel 13. All right, thanks, Rana. Quick update. We just got word that the procession has left I-25, so I-25 about to reopen. And dozens of